There's one thing you should know about me. I specialize in a very specific type of security. Subconscious security. You're talking about dreams? I was the visual effects supervisor for the film, which means I was the head of the visual effects department, and I'm in charge of designing and then executing all of the visual effects for the film. And the great thing with a script like Inception is, you know, Chris had put in some descriptions in there, and he talked about, in the script it talks about the street folds up and forms a cube of city, and then they walk around the inside of it, and that's pretty much it. And I thought, well, what if we take that and extend it so it's a whole series of these things? coming back over like a giant, inside of a giant caterpillar track, and the buildings lock together at the end. And he thought that was a cool idea. We bring the subject into that dream, and they fill it with their secrets. Then you break in and steal it. Well, it's not strictly speaking legal. The techniques are basically the same as they were 50 years ago, in terms of the way that we put images together, but computers massively amplify our abilities and allow us to achieve a result which is seamless now with photographic reality. You know, before we went out and actually shot the live action with Leo and Alan and the rest of the cast, we um, sent the visual effects team out there, and they're out there for about two weeks, photographing the buildings, making surveys of all the locations. Uh, we scanned everything with a thing called a LiDAR scanner, and then from that we can build a very detailed digital model. And then this then is worked on by the artists over at uh, the visual effects company, and they spend a lot of time lighting it, making digitally all inside the computer, matching it to real world references that we shot. So there's a, a yeah, it's about I think it was about eight months of work went into the, uh, the folding Paris street scene. There's a team of about 20 people working on that for about eight months. All ready. I think I found a way home. And this last job, that's how I get there. The total team on uh, visual effects for Inception was about 260 people. Uh, over a period of about uh, 10 months working on the show. But we had quite a sizable shooting crew at times. You know, we had a visual effects shooting unit, we shot the miniatures. You know, there were about 50 or 60 people on set that day when we were blowing up the miniature. You know, lots of people back here in London working away, making animations, putting shots together. I was an animator for uh, a video games company up in Liverpool for a few years. And then in 98, there was a group of us at uh, this place. We were just really wanted to focus entirely on films. We didn't want to do anything else. And we uh, went off and we started Double Negative, which is uh, my company. And uh, we started out with 10 people in 1998, and it's grown steadily. We're now currently 800 staff. Dreams feel real while we're in them. It's only when we wake up that we realize something is actually strange. You know, some days I think he's dreaming, some days I think he's not. There's various things that I look at and I think, well, yeah, okay, well, okay, that's definitely in the case of a dream, oh no, no, that means it's reality. And I think Chris has, you know, as far as Chris is concerned, it's one or the other, but he never told us what it was. You mustn't be afraid to dream a little bigger, darling. 